Hi, this is Alia. I'm back with another deck review. Today we're going to be uh, reviewing the Dreamkeeper's Tarot. Now, this deck, um, I have the indie in version of it, uh, and I purchased it when I think um, when it came out. I think it's the first edition. I don't know if that was the second. So I think that's the first edition. It doesn't say anything on it. Um, yeah, it says first printing. Do you see that? First printing 2018. Okay, so this is the independent version. There is a mass production, a mass produced um, version of it. And I have seen it and it's a very uh, nice packaging. It's not um, like this because you had to get the book, I think, separately or in one. It was one price uh, for, oh, I don't remember, but that, this is how you get it. There's no box and it wasn't like tucked in or something it's just like that so you have a book separately and you have a deck and this is the, uh, the box just a regular uh, box for independent deck okay now although the packaging is not very um, impressive uh, when it comes to the deck there are things uh, that are very interesting to talk about and bring up so first of all let's just begin with a book this is a very nice book it's a big, uh, thick, nice book with a lot of information. It starts off with, um, uh, there is a, she had signed all uh, the, um, the book. She has, um, she starts off by giving the whole, um, what is it called? Oh, so over here is the people that backed it because I think it was a Kickstarter project. And then she gives you the whole, um, history of the deck and what happened to her that she had to go through it again because uh, there was an issue with her computer so it got the whole uh, deck everything got um, deleted I think or destroyed something sorry and sorry 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 sometimes this is so hard for me to do I have a lot of things in front of me anyways so she went through a lot of um uh, so she had to do it all over again, right? Uh, I think it took another extra year. So this was a long-lived project for her. Uh, however, there is uh, it is very uh, interesting for us. And we're very happy that we have this out in the market. So whatever time it took her, it was worth. Because it, it is a beautiful project that, you know, came in, um, into life. So there's a lot of spreads here. Different spreads. There's a um, horoscope spread here and it holds the qualities of all the signs. So I, I, for Aries, I am, I have, I think for Gemini and such. And then you just lay out the cards. So it's kind of a yearly thing. And then it goes into the arcana, like the major. We have a little black and white kind of um, situation here. Um, it gets a lot of... Um, information about the description of the card what it means how uh, she came about with the image so it's very very uh, informative as a uh, and here's the minor arcana um, as a book it, and even if it was sold independently as a tarot book i would suggest you would uh, buy it and read it because there's a lot of information here that's um, of value you, you will find a lot of things that matter here. It's just not another book that we just uh, put in uh, descriptions and we just throw it in the market. So there, there's value in here. And I don't know if the mass production holds the same value. So if it's this um, uh, shortening down, um, I haven't watched any reviews. Maybe I should. I should be doing that. But um, if it is the same thing, then just read the book. There's, it's amazing. Now, when it comes to packaging, uh, you're not getting this packaging. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good news for you if you're getting the mask production you're getting a better packaging than this anyway so this is the deck there was a little card that, that was sent with it now when it comes to the cards let's just see what we have here now size it looks like it's the same maybe it's a tiny little bit but it doesn't even matter no one cares about that and then it's not really reversible it, you could do it because you have to pay attention to like the little symbol here but i guess you could do it like who's gonna just sit there and look at it i don't know how you do your reversals so <laughs> i wouldn't mind but i don't do reversals but it's okay all right so when it comes to the deck 
uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of um, beautiful images that they're very um and i'm not going to talk about the cardstock because this is very nice cardstock but i don't think you're getting this quality and i don't know if you're getting a better quality because lately i have to admit that i'm kind of uh, impressed when it comes to the quality of our decks and the packaging and the books and the cardstock um it seems that companies are valuing our money and that is uh that is very important to me because I stopped purchasing for a while decks that because they would get damaged and you spend all this money you want you want to treasure it you want to hold on to it and I stopped and then I just you know I couldn't because I have a thing with tarot I think I'm addicted to it but anyway so then I started purchasing again but you know it just gets on your nerves because you spend all this money and then you get so bad quality but now they have improved so you even with the packaging you just feel that it's luxurious you just love it it's just oh my god as soon as you get it in your hands you're like I need more of these but back in the this was just they would just throw up um, a box anyways so when it comes to car stock, it, you might be getting better quality. It might be, sometimes I have found lately that the card stock is as good as independent publishing. It's as good. Okay, so this is thick. Just, I don't know, just in case if you want to compare it, maybe we should be doing a comparison, but I don't have the mass production. And as I have said, I don't like purchasing the same thing over and over and over because I don't have a lot of space and I have a lot of decks. Anyways, so this is the full. Now, um, you are going to be seeing uh, images that you're familiar with, but there's a different perspective and the angle that you are approaching the, um, um, the meanings and um, emotions of the cards are very unique in their way. And I don't think that we have seen that in any other decks. So let's just start and I'll, I'll be, you know, talking whenever I see there's a, I could do like five parts of this. Because um, this deck is very unique in its way. And there's other decks that I could do that as well. But I'm just saying that this is very unique and very nice. And you can see like all the details in here. Like, look at that. Look at, can you see that? How many things are here? Like you could really pick up when you're reading. Like so many things. It's just very, very interesting as a deck. Every time I read with it, every single time there's more coming through. It's like the more that you familiarize yourself with it, uh, the more um, um, you pick up. Look at that. Like, look at this. This is this is so nice. Okay, so this is the Cratrix. It's something like the Matrix. So the fool gets into the Cratrix and it starts creating. <laughs> so over here we kind of like get the same, um, do you see that silhouette? as in the middle so it kind of um, pulls in the um, the pillars that we see in the high priestess like there's mix and match there's there's a lot of things going on here so then the high priestess we're not used to this image right but we do look at that get a lot of uh symbols and a lot of uh different things and now do keep in mind that this uh liz um what's her name lisa Liz. Liz Houston, Houston. Um, she reads tarot, so she knows what she's doing. It's not, I'm just throwing things out there because I thought they would look nice. It's just, I, I, I'm, I'm a user, I'm a reader, I know what I'm doing, so, and I'm creating a deck. And that's why it works, because it's just not an artist making a deck. It's someone that knows about tarot. So we do get, even if you don't see like straightforward the symbolism, uh, so even this idea of the empress that it holds uh, the universe as well as and uniting because she's the gate, the womb, the gate, you know, the empress. We, we see it as creativity, but there, there's more meanings to it when, as you advance your, um, your tarot readings. And well, I, I will do some series about the tarot when it comes to advanced um, learning, level of learning. Okay, so the emperor. You see that, so many things here, so many things. The hair fun. Now, this hair fun is a little bit different than what I'm used to. And I, I'm not, like, I really don't like the faces, the three faces here. And I don't like that whenever artists do that. Sometimes it's just uh, not my thing. Because I, I, I can see it without it sometimes. Or it could be, I don't know, in a different way. But this is a very nice hair fun. 
very nice. The lovers is just amazing and that's why it's on the box. It's just out of this world. And we do get this that we have seen in um, Nicoletta uh, Ciccoli, what is it, with the little girls, the paintings, and now they're a tarot deck. Not now, many years ago, but uh, we see that in their dresses, things coming out. So we get the same concept here that there's hidden things beneath. That's very nice. Very, very, very nice. The chariot. Nice chariot. Strength. Look at the strength. Look at that with the snake. Do you see that? Very nice. Like breaking through. It's very, very nice. And then you get these things that they look like a lot of things could be roots from, roots of a, from a tree. And you could like... Um, it can pass as a lightning as well. Can you see that, the detail? I don't know if it's picking it up, but there's a lot of um, different levels of winning here. The hermit, very nice hermit. The, so you get the, the little light here from the reflection, does that come through? It's from the reflection, it's not from the same person. The fates, I, I love this fate. I love that, the fate. And I think I have seen something uh, similar to this image, but very different. But I'm just uh, pointing out the concept from uh, beautiful creatures. That is the three figures as well there. But over here is done in a very unique, different way. And I do, I understand that some people have problems with when they're cutting through things or with the dots. There's, there's, um, there's something, a fear, a dot fear, whatever that is, whole fear. I don't know. But I understand why people will comment on that. I've heard the comments is what I'm saying. Now justice, very nice justice. Multi-leveled, uh, <laughs> multi-layered justice. The hangman, which is a woman. And then death, look at that, death. Very nice. I like death when it's done with respect because death is just another phase in life. Temperance, putting um, the right pieces in. The devil, I really like this devil because not devilish devil, but it, it, it brings through all the qualities. And this is what actually, you know, kind of all happened as in Christianity, kind of. <laughs> But it depicted in a different way, and I like it. I really enjoy it because I see what they're where they're coming from, but I don't get this devilish um, kind of a creepiness out of it. Uh, the tower, very nice tower. There are no words about that. It's like this deck's out of this world. It, it's out of this world because the images are out of this world. <laughs> and that is uh, that's the thing with some artists that there are art is. Just um, what art is supposed to be. Because I understand that uh, there's art that depicts real life, the star. Uh, so you just kind of draw what you see. But to me, what I like about art is that it takes you, it, it opens up your, your horizons, your brain, your um, thinking. And it gives you images that you cannot think of. So when art, the moon, beautiful, when, when art is done in a very... Um, uh, nice way, not nice, but the way that I expect it. What I expect to see is something that takes me in uh, different worlds, different, um, make me think in a different way. Like make me think that, so I would never think of something like this. I could not, look at that. And I was like, could you, is this made out of wood? Like, is this a person made out of wood that is not even really a person that, it's like I couldn't, and there's the, clouds and then you can see the checkers board down here and then behind it is the sun that is I could never come up with that even if someone would ask me <laughs> there's no way the world look look at this the world the connection and then all this uh, the web but it's just the space that we don't see but there is space that if we could see it with our human mechanism then maybe we'd see the lines because it's like a web like space around you, you don't see it, but there is space and probably has a, not a materialized um, aspect of it, but you know what I'm saying here. Like just, a, 
that with the uh, Ace of Wands, this one is not my favorite, but okay. Um, the Two of Wands. Could you ever come up with this? Could you ever think of putting all these things together to make the Two of Wands? I couldn't. That's why I really appreciate this artwork. Uh, three of Wands. Very nice. And it does hold the right away meanings. Like, um, we do see it. Over here is like how I was saying earlier, the wood. So it's like a statue that is made out of wood. Or it's like a tree. Because you... It's, it's so much so much meaning in this. The five. Now the five, look at this. Think about it. Look at that. Because some most of the times we get the um, five of ones, but this is just it, it it kind of a kind of a holds the strength meaning here, but done in a different way. So it has to do with how you see the world. So it's your perception. Like whenever you get yourself into situations, weird situations, it's your perception. If you change your perception, things will change. And then the six of one, look at that. And it just holds images from all over the world and like eras. So this is like more of an ancient. It's just, look at that. Like, could you figure this out? Like, could you think of that? Having a mask looking at you. What's up with that? You see, I would never think of that. I would never think of that. Oh, the Eight of Wands, beautiful Eight of Wands. The Nine of Wands, and here's the um, cut out uh, body parts <laughs> that people are not so. But to me, I think it adds. It adds to the whole meaning. It adds to the cards. It just adds layering. Um, now the Ten. the page and then we have the knight and I want to just try to put everything here the queen and the king so it's uh more on the right away and you see the um it's not a progression but this could be a couple right the queen and the king because we get a lot of uh, times images that they don't they couldn't work together and the only thing is that I would prefer this to be a boy like a male instead of a female but this is a knight clearly um the queen and the king okay the ace i'm okay with this ace i just don't like the ones the ace of ones um and the reason why i did i mention that the reason that i don't like it and I, it's not i don't like it it's just it could have been different let me just bring it out it just reminds me has like a vibe of the magician to me because if it's changed a little bit, it could be a magician. So when I'm doing a re reading and I go a little bit fast, sometimes just I'm like, I have to um, second guess. <laughs> Think of it twice. Um, okay, now the Two of Cups. Now this Two of Cups uh, brings up uh, qualities of the lovers. It, it can work as a Two of Cups, but it does bring qualities of the lovers. All right, now the Three of Cups. This is beautiful. The four is amazing, amazing. Look at that, it's amazing. Some of the images, there are just no words. Is there, how can I, uh, what can I say about this? Just speechless, it's like, the image talks um, for itself. The six, very nice six of, um, and it still holds like the exchange here. Ah, uh, the seven of cups. The choices card. The eight of cups. So over here we have the element of uh, time. Do you see that also? That comes up. Which is not so. Uh, so I really enjoy this. Because the element of time, I would be looking around uh, whenever this comes up. Because it's very important when you have um, motion to know uh the timing not exactly like it's not fortune telling but you know what i'm saying so over here it just helps a lot because you do get directionality so you you get something to um add the nine of cups which is beautiful this is just a deck by itself <laughs> and then we have the ten of cups and then the page so let's just see again 
how it progresses. And there is, this uh, reminds me of, there's a deck out, an independent deck. Oh my God, no, I can't remember of it. It's an independent deck. But it's the whole thing is done like this. And it's purplish. Can't remember it. Anyways, I think I'm going to purchase it. That's why I'm just bringing that up. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the page. And then we have the knight and the uh, queen and the king. Now, the thing is the king and the queen, although they don't look like people, really, but it can, it can work because they're more on the... It's cups, so they're more on the dreamy side. Uh, over here is like the knight of cups. It's just... It has other qualities so much. It's not so much of a knight because I think... It doesn't have a, it's more like, yeah, the dreamy quality and, um, but it, it holds, to me, it comes across as more, it could be, I don't know, I don't know what it could be. Maybe even a seven of uh, cups with a reflection and getting the choices down here. It's not so much of a night, I'm missing a little bit of the intensity of a night. And then the page of cups, it just brings up an ace of, oh, yeah. A nice of cups. It's like the core cards, the pages and the knights, they're okay. But everything else is just very, very good. Face of swords. That's nice. The two of swords, amazing. 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 It's not like a real person, but there is a person. So there's a body, but not really. And there's people down here. Do you see that? Mm. This is just look at that. She's like even holding it, like holding her heart in pain. And we don't know how that feels because we don't have a face, so we don't get the expression. It might not even be in pain. We're, we're assuming that it hurts. The four, the five of swords, right? We get the six of swords, so we still get the movement. It's done in a different way, but we still get the movement. And that's very important to me because sometimes I see the six of swords when they're changing it a bit, and it's not the, uh, the little boat taking the people away, that we don't have the movement. And we don't have a lot of uh, moving cards that, that, that show movement, and we do need to keep these uh, active. Or else, or else you have to pick up the the active ones from the from the numbers. So the passive, active, and uh, neutrals. And we'll do a numerology at one point, and I will be explaining all that. So seven, eight. But do you see like how the eight has all these uh, images within? The nine, look at that. Like you have to really pay attention to the whole thing. And there's some writing on it as well. And the 10, very nice 10. And then we have a page of swords. This could work as a page for me. And this uh, knight is good. This is excellent, the queen. And this is the king. Because sometimes a queen might come across as a divorce. So that makes it even better for me. It, holds a, it, it kind of a brings up the qualities of a justice, but they're really close, like the queen of swords and the justice. Whereas here um, brings up other qualities. I really like these core cards a lot. Like these are my probably favorite ones. Then we get the ace of pentacles, the two of pentacles, very familiar, very um, well done here, because there's a, very nice. The Three of Pentacles. Do you see the reflection? It's a different image, but a different reflection. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, that holds uh, qualities of the justice as well here. It reminds us of justice. So how you, do you hold on? Why do you hold on? How do you value things? It's very nice. that um, That's what I'm saying. It has all these meanings and all these layers here. 
the five of pentacles. So even, even though it's not exactly as we're used to it, it still gets everything that we need. This is more like of a, in a praying situation, like hoping that things will happen. But even in the five of pentacles, that's kind of the situation. They're, they're, they're in need, in need of help. The six of pentacles. Very nice. We haven't gotten to the exchange, like to the given yet, but it's there. The seven. Look at this. Can you see that? Look at that. It's two worlds in one. The eight of pentacles. <laughs> I would never, ever think of this image. Like, I wouldn't think of any of these images. That's why I, I'm so in love with this deck, because it's just out of this world. <laughs> this is art, seriously. And it's put together in such a way that when you lay down the cards, maybe I should do something with this deck, like a reading. Because I want you to see how, how it looks. And it's gorgeous. It's amazing. Very, very, very nice. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. No, huh? Mm, I'm trying. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't want to work with me. And then we have the page. We have the knight. The queen. And the king. So the king and the queen here, they're very, very beautifully done. Nice. Very nice. I really uh, like them. He's my, like, my best king out of all. And then here, I like the, the knight. How he's, because he's a knight. So we see the... Not the movement, but the need to move because he's a knight. Uh, but we do get the symbols of... Um, sometimes I see like the books and stuff that it's for... Um, I've seen a lot of knights of um, cups. And we'll talk about it because I have in mind two, two, two decks right now that do that. We'll talk about it when, it comes, when the time comes. But over here, I like it the way it is. Because sometimes um, the page of um, pentacle or the knight of pentacles comes across as the person that will take the time and make a plan to execute. So it's a, a slower, um, from all the knights, he's the slowest moving one. But this and this just tells you his qualities, his values in life. Now this page of pentacles, it is nice and I understand everything that is happening, but to, when it comes to personal readings, this just, um, it could, it could be done in a, in a different way that will help a little bit more, a little bit more. Not that it doesn't work, but just a tiny bit. Okay, and I will put this, uh, where is he? My king, I'll put my king here. Because he's very serious as a king. And that was it. So that was the, okay. The Dream Keepers Tarot um, deck review. I was lovely doing this uh, for you. I think I'm going to be using this deck uh, for some kind of a reading. Look at that. I'm, I'm telling you, if you see it laid down like for a reading, you'll love it. And I think I'm going to be doing that. So watch for that. Do come back. Thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for your love and support. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love you.